Hello everyone and welcome back to VIP Tutorials. Um, in this particular section we're going to talk about creating a Grunge effect, extracting your subject from the photograph and uh, uh, manipulating different backgrounds. Um, if you go into File and open up uh, our um, CD, navigate to Grunge Effect, uh, I selected a folder in there that's, uh, that has um, two stock photos uh, that we're going to be working with. Uh, the stock photos were taken from a uh, stock exchange and let's holding down control key you can select both of them and just click open. Now the first picture is a picture of the model. Um, the second picture um, it, is our background that we're going to be working with and that particular background is very interesting just because it allows you to um, uh, create that grunge effect of s that's basically a, a shot of a of a uh, of an old paper um, piece of paper and uh, in order to start what I want you to do is uh, go onto right onto the uh, our picture of a model and we're going to extract that model from from the background. Uh, the best way to do that, the simplest way to do that, is using a magic wand tool and making sure that your tolerance value is fairly low. Um, I picked this particular photo just because it's it's uh, you can see that the color of the hair really sort of blends in with the color of the background as well as the dress. So let's just go ahead and start selecting the background or removing the old background, holding down your shift key on your keyboard start clicking on around the model and you're gonna basically see that having low tolerance value will create that nice envelope around the perimeter or the edge of of the model that you're working with and you don't really have to pay attention to those little areas that are not getting selected just because if that happens um, I'm gonna show you a really uh, pretty neat, nice uh, uh, trick or fast way of getting rid of these and you can see that in this section right here um, we've got a problem where the background um, and the part of the dress got selected as well so um, in order to remove these uh, anomalies uh, uh, let's go into lasso tool let's hold down your Alt key on your keyboard and you see that right next to the lasso tool there is a little negative sign showing up. What that does is basically that will allow you to subtract that or remove that part from the selection. Now holding down your shift key let's go ahead and pick up the um, leftover pieces from from our uh, quick select tool and we're gonna add these to our to our selection so let's, let's just go ahead and circulate around these bigger areas here now the model is basically um, uh, selected. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and apply feather to that selection. So we're gonna go into f select, modify, and feather. This particular photo is of a resolution 72. Um, if you are working with larger size photos, you might want to increase the feather radius to higher values, such as 15 and so on. Um, with Feather is going to do, it's going to create uh, a right uh, sort of composition of that selection around the model. So um, just to show you the difference is if you were to cut that background out right now, you can see that all these dots and, and really um, unnatural cutout has been created. So now I'm, I'm just going to go back and apply that feather effect. Let's use value of 4. Now let's cut that out. Now you can see it, the selection is a lot a lot smoother. But before we move our model to the background um, that we're going to be working with, we want to inverse that selection just because right now we've been working in um, we've selected the, the background, not the model itself. So let's go into select, inverse, go into edit and cut. Now the model has been cut out from that picture. We can go back into our background layer, which is the paper layer, and let's go and hit edit and paste. Now obviously you can spend more time redefining the edges um, using your um, eraser tool and so on and so forth, but let's let's just say this is a, a fairly, fairly good selection. Um, now let's go into our background layer, which is the paper layer, and then let's just click Control A to select everything. Control X once and then Control V to paste that layer, that background layer as a separate layer. And we're going to actually paste that twice. Um, you see that we have the main 
and the secondary background layer. Now let's change the or the blending mode of that uh, secondary background layer to I would say linear burn. It, it will create a, a really nice really nice sort of grungy looking effect but at the same time let's go ahead and and expand that layer slightly so let's let's go ahead and go into edit transform and just free transform to one and we're gonna make it slightly bigger um, I'll explain why that's done in a second but what that's gonna do that's gonna basically allow you to change the blending mode of that layer to color um, and right now you can see that we have some black and white areas in here but also the areas that did retain the color from mixing of those two layers now let's bring our model right underneath the layer 3 okay and what happens right now is that the layer with the model the, the, all that happened is that I dragged that model right up underneath layer 3 and now we're gonna change the fill of that layer to let's say 50 uh, 50 percent um, now let's go ahead and let's change the blending mode of that model to something as in uh, that's gonna mix that uh, picture um, uh, mix that mix that layer a little bit better so let's let's change that to linear light and now you can see that the white areas have gotten exposed a lot more and the darker areas started protruding through the background now um, since this is the the basic setup for for our um, uh, pictures now let's let's go ahead and let's create another another um, layer and we're gonna call that layer our um, let's say uh, uh, linear light layer okay and what I want you to do is drag it right at the top of layer 3 okay and now at this point we're gonna fill this layer in with a gradient tool um, change your colors from the foreground color to black so basically just a basic fill black and white and we're gonna fill that area in um, and what that's gonna do when you change the blending modes to a linear light that's gonna highlight or basically blend that layer into the rest of the photograph highlight the white areas and darken the darker air um, and now let's let's go ahead and create a brand new layer and we're gonna actually create a border for this um, for our photo here that we're working with um, now the best way to create a border around a photograph is just creating a brand new layer blank one go in go right into select select all and we're gonna go ahead and mo modify the border okay since this is a fairly small picture we're gonna actually use a, a width uh, of, of 15 pixels for higher resolution photographs you might want to jump up a little bit higher now we're gonna change the fill color to something from our photograph so something a little bit darker um, one of these earthly colors now let's change the fill to paint bucket tool and now let's just go ahead and click on it I would say twice um, that basically creates that sort of unnatural looking border it's not really something that that makes the uh, 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 photo uh, appear any better but what I want to do is go into filter and we're gonna actually apply a um, Gaussian blur to that border layer and uh, for this particular one I would say uh, pick something in vicinity of let's say 20 25 um, is, is pretty good even we can go even into higher values of let's say 30 35 um, just go ahead and click OK and we're gonna change the blending mode of that of that um, border just because we want it to to blend in with the rest of the photo to linear burn um, what linear burn does it basically exposes the colors that are right underneath it okay so let's just click linear burn and you're gonna see that now the colors that have been right around the left hand side and the top of the photograph have gotten a lot more exposure and at the same time the top corner has retained the values of that of the border so at this point what you could also do is start playing around with the linear light um, over or this this uh, uh, gradient overlay that we created um, we can just go ahead and change change some of these values to uh, to a little bit different different colors 
you can keep dragging and and seeing what's gonna make your make your photo appear pretty um, uh, you know uh, appealing to 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 the uh, to the eye. But at the same time, you can also change that gradient color to something something darker if you don't like that overexposed area on the upper right hand corner. And we can just drag that from let's say bottom uh, left hand corner to upper right hand corner and now at this point you can see that this uh, this photo has gotten a pretty pretty neat um, grungy looking effect um, once uh, more time uh, more time thank you for watching VIP tutorials and I hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, this video thank you